Speaking of somebody else, that's a damn shame. <sighs> Our sister Tiffany Haddish. Help her, Lord. Between the DUIs, the 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 you know comedy thing that she did with the um grooming of the children allegedly you know now she did this whole thing about she's going to israel to see what's going on with her own eyes i'm going to tell you something i'm the i'm the biggest believer i don't feel bad for people who do stupid shit when the article reads idaho woman mauled by tiger my first question is always why was idaho woman by Tiger. If Tiffany Addish take her ass over to Israel and she don't make a return, don't y'all call me for no GoFundMe money. And I'm not bringing and donating nothing to the repass either. Why in, on God's green earth would you get your black ass on a goddamn airplane and fly over to a war latent country right now talking about I'm going to see it from my own eyes before I speak on the subject. Before you speak on the subject, Tiffany had it. Who the fuck asking you anything about the subject? You are absolutely the last person we want to hear anything about, you know, uh, foreign affairs, policy, geography. We don't want to hear... Who, we don't need you to be educated on this topic, Tiffany Haddish, because nobody is coming to you for any information about it. You are absolutely the last person. We gonna, now, here are things we will be asking you about, Tiffany Haddish. How can we get to the coolest bar on in the country? Do you have Uber phone number? Do you have a good DUI attorney? What drink do you recommend at this restaurant? Those are all the types of things if I was homeless, what type of garbage bags do you suggest I put my clothes in? You know, those are the types of things we would be asking you. How big is common dick? Those are the types of things we would be asking you. Nobody would be asking you any questions about the conflict in Gaza and in Israel. And if you truly wanted to learn and educate yourself, why not just done it from the comfort of your home? You, you could you could uh, look at Al Jazeera. You could have read all the content coming out of Al Jazeera. If you wanted to educate yourself, you could have stayed right here in the United States and gone to the Jewish community and sat down and spoke with a rabbi. You could have called up Chelsea Handler. Ho, oh, you in Hollywood, nothing but Jews running. You could have went and sat down with one of them and talked to one of them. Surely you've come in contact with enough of them. You're in Hollywood. And then secondly, if you were going to go to Israel for whatever mission you wanted to go to, have at it. It didn't need to be made public. That was something personal. That was something personal. And you didn't read the room, black girl. And let me tell you something. The child, the child grooming thing and the DUI thing might not have been what took you over, what was going to take you over. Yeah, I keep saying, y'all said Tiffany is Jewish. Yeah, but she Jew like this and not like this, honey. She a different kind of Jew. She ain't the type of Jew that the white Jews are accepting, okay, um, if she's Jewish or not. And them people are going to be done with her ass. And if she is a Jew, she a black Jew in America, which means she a nigga first, okay? The people in the synagogue ain't embracing her and feeding her bagels the same way they doing the other damn Jewish people. They ain't. They ain't. I, I, you watch how fast they cast her ass at the Jew church or at the synagogue or wherever the hell they be, at the banquet hall, at the Ken Sierra, at the bar, whatever, but she had a bar miss, but yes, she did. That being funny with they ass. That girl ain't no damn Jew. She ain't Jew. Get off my line with that bullshit. Get off my line with that damn bullshit. Um, it's just sad though. Um, yeah, and she is such a nuisance. She's gonna sit her ass down somewhere. Um, last but not least, honey. Um Y'all got to be careful at these hotels. 
because they don't they having another out uh, another bed bug outbreak down to these hotels and y'all gonna go on down there y'all coochie gonna get the itch and you gonna beat up your husband or your boyfriend thinking he don't gave you something and it's gonna be them people on the rewards points that you stand in that hotel with and got your coochie to itch you. And they said it was the hotels all down in Dubai. See, y'all don't brought them American crabs over there to Dubai. But see, that's the Dubai people fought for flying them Instagram whores out there. Now, you you got to be one old nasty coochie whore or nasty ball having motherfucker for you to fly your ass over to Dubai and infestate all them, infestate all them people hotels with your... Because they said it was American crabs. They said it was stone crabs. I mean, snow crabs. They said it was snow crabs found all in the people's bed. That's how they knew it was American people. And it was black people in particular. And I love it. But they said they found snow crab. They said when they went in the bathroom and it was smelling like garlic butter. They said it was just, they said it was just smelling like garlic butter and tuna all, all in the people hotels and stuff. And they said. They said, you know, we know that seafood night is not even until Sunday and it's Tuesday. Why is it smelling like garlic butter and snow crab all in the damn Four Seasons Dubai? Just in that Maryland, just child. Just stay home. Because you see, did them income tax checks not hit? And I'm just trying to tell y'all now before y'all try to take y'all ass over there to Dubai. You're going to go over there to Dubai, and let me tell you something. You're going to go over there with snow crabs. Your ass going to come back with Alaskan King because everything is big over in Dubai, and, and everything is expensive over there in Dubai. Dubai do it big, bitch. You're going to go over there with some small, soft-shell Maryland blue crabs or some small snow crabs, and your ass going to come back with Alaskan King. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell y'all old, old base smelling ass hoes, don't take y'all ass over there to them damn hotels. Hoeing. Hoeing. And American Airlines and, and Emirates and all the rest of the girls will be putting out a report next because if they in the hotels, they got to be in the airplanes. And y'all sitting down, laying down, scratching y'all uh, balls and y'all coochies and them people airplanes for however long it take, 40 hours, 90 hours. However, I ain't never went over there home. And I see, I do my home in stateside. So I don't know how many hours it take to go. I do my home in right here in Miami. And when I'm feeling exquisite and extravagant, I do a little bit of home in Atlanta, and I go do a little more in New Orleans. Okay? I do my home in stateside. Bitch, if I'm going to get crabs, I'm going to stay right here and get crabs from my local CVS is two minutes from my damn house. You're not, bitch, I'm not going to spend up all my damn income tax money and all the damn church money to go on over there and get some damn Godzilla-sized crabs scratching me all between my legs and in my damn butt. Not me, girl. If y'all going to do y'all home and get an STD, get it locally. Where your insurance go through at your primary care physician or you can take your ass down to Miss Concentra um, 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 an urgent care center for $125 and get it remedied. Ain't nobody got no time to be going over there and then you go over there and you drop your damn panties in front of them damn doctors and they find your ass in jail because it's against the law. You got to take your panties off with a skirt on or a shawl or however the hell Allah said you're supposed to do it over there. Stay y'all ass over here with them damn crabs, okay? <laughs> Chad, just scratching in the itching. 